Howdy everybody in YouTube land. I have here a JL 1000 slash 1. I'm actually narrating this because there's too much noise in the shop today. There's a known problem with these units. Uh, one of the trouble spots is actually right here, which is the remote section for the preamp. In this case it's good, so we're not going to look at that. Um, can't get the camera to focus very well at that scene, but anyway. Um, basically that's that problem and in this case the output stage is shorted only on the one side the other side's still good you can see the driver board and the actual MOSFET driver down on there and they have never been replaced this amplifier has been worked on before and uh, basically you can actually see the flux residue from where the outputs were replaced in the past and they haven't been the drivers haven't been replaced with them and that's a requirement with class D and the power supply stage is still good. Uh, so all we have to do is replace the outputs and the driver to get this thing running again. And uh, It's going to be a vent because that board's going to have to come out to do that. It shouldn't be too difficult. And the outputs also have to be removed. It's hard to narrate this with not really I remember when I was talking about etc. Oh yeah, don't lose those. Those insulate the RCAs from the chassis. Now, to remove the driver, we obviously have to have the solder braid, and we have to have very, very powerful iron, because that is an extremely thick board that's going to suck up a lot of heat. And i got to grab out Bertha to do this. So I'm going to clean the tip up, and I'm going to remove the solder and remove the driver board, at least on the side that's bad. And I'm going to remove all the outputs. Now all the outputs have been removed, and you can clearly see the primary MOSFET driver in the foreground with the driver board removed on the bad side. And there's the second chip, the secondary driver that has to be replaced. That's two chips total in the one bad channel. Now that I have holes cleaned out, there's obviously one hole that didn't clean out all the way. So we're going to take a little bit of acetone to clean off all the flux residue, and we're going to take a drill bit to drill out the solder in the hole. As long as the bit is smaller than the plating, you won't have you won't damage the hole at all. But it has to be smaller than the plating, and it has to be in the center. You don't want to hit the side of the plating. So now we're going to drill that out. With that drilled out, the solder's now out of the hole so we can put the driver board back in when we're finished doing the repair. Unfortunately, I can't get the camera to focus very well on that scene, so you're not going to be able to tell that I drilled the hole out. But as you've seen, I did drill the hole out. All the solder has been cleared. There's the new driver chip, the TC4420. There's two of those. One goes in the riser card, and the other one goes on the main board. So now we're going to remove the chip off the riser card. The chip has been removed. As you can clearly see, we're getting ready to solder in the brand new chip. The brand new chip has been soldered in. Nice, clean soldering job with a little bit of acetone to remove the flux. Now I remove the second driver chip that sits in front of the driver card, getting ready to place the new one in. Now the new one has been installed. As you can see, a nice clean solder job with no shorts. Now it's time to install the power output devices for both channels. I want to match up the transistors between the channels. That's critical with Class D applications. Now all transistors have leveled off and they're installed into place. Time to do uh, some reassembly. Got the board back into the chassis, uh, hooking up the system to get ready to test it. All the power outputs have been re-greased. Power supply transistors have been re-greased. You can see the new chips down there in the bottom of the shot. And uh, nice and brand new outputs. And I gotta put the clamps back on. Alright, now it's time to do an audio check. Okay. Power on. Alright. 
see. Yep, there we go. There's our sound.